Okay, in this video, we're going to be trying to work out the relative atomic mass AR given relative abundances of different isotopes of an element given in the form of a mass spectrum. And the particular element which we're looking at to, on this video is neon. And that's a noble gas, and the symbol is N E neon. Okay, so the three isotopes we have here are N E 20, which is this first one. I'll draw it in green. N E. Oh, actually, I'm going to draw it up here. N E 20. Second one. N. Oh, purple, I'll draw it out on purple. Whoop! <coughs> 20. NE21, which is this one. Let's just close that too. Okay. There we go. And the third one, which is this one. NE22. Um, and what this axis here means, just to explain it, what this means is the mass charge ratio. How a mass spectrum works is often ions are detected at the end of the process. I won't explain the process in this video, but at the end of the process, ions are detected. And these ions have had an electron knocked off it. It used to have, they, they used to have, they used to not be ions, it used to be molecules with a neutral charge and had electrons knocked off so their charge is going to be plus one like this plus plus one they're going to have a plus one charge and so if you were to divide a mass by a charge let's say it's an isotope 20 it has a mass of 20 and we divide it by plus one it's basically we're dividing it by one which obviously is going to equal 20 so these and it usually always, nearly always, ends up being a plus in in the question that we're going to give it, be it going to be given. It's going to practically always be a plus one charge. So we can take these to be basically the um, mass numbers, mass n mass number. So this it gives us the mass numbers along here. <laughs> so we know that the mass numbers are as follows: like twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Now these these peaks we call these lines here are peaks these lines in the mass spectrum um, and the height of these peaks aren't that significant obviously it shows us which one's got the most abundance and the least abundance but it's not to scale this one is not to scale we don't really need to think about the the, the height of the lines too much but what we do need to pay attention to close attention to is the numbers at the top of these peaks that's what's very important in our calculations so for this neon what the the the, the percent the the relative abundance it's not a percentage in these ones we need to really understand that it's not a percentage in these so we're not gonna just divide everything by 100 at the end as you can see this is higher than 100 now the any what we do is the same thing as we did in the last in as i showed in the last video but what we do what we do in the second part of the process where we divide by the total relative abundance of, of, of all of the isotopes we're gonna need to calculate that by adding this to this to this rather than just dividing by a hundred so let's do this first stage NE let's form our little um, division fraction thing here NE, we take 20, which is the mass number of, of this isotope of neon, and we get 20 and we multiply it by 114. 114. And the next step, neon 21, we add, let me draw the add sign in grey, we add this to 21, which is the mass number of this, and we, we, we multiply that by 0 0.2. And then we've got 11.2 here and 22 here, so we multiply those two together. Uh, let me do that. Uh, Great. Uh, 22. Wait, hold on. Um, what color I use? I use light blue. So 
22 and we multiply the 22 by 11.2 there we go and we divide this by the total of the relative abundances so what we need to do now is find the total for these relative abundances and I'll do that up here 100 uh, I've got my calculator here 114 plus 0 0.2 plus 11 11.2 so let's work out the total 114 114 plus 2 plus 11.2 and that gives us 125.4 equals 125.4 and the next step is to use that 125.4 now and hold on let me just uh, do that in red red circle that in red 125.4 and so if we enter this into our calculator which I'm gonna do now um, let me see what color should I use here I'm gonna use an orangey color this time um, that gives us an AR let me write AR here equals 20 wait 20 times 114 20 times 114 plus 21 times 0 0.2 wait oh no no no, no, no yeah 21 21 times 0 0.2 plus 22 times 11.2 and that gives us a oh wait no 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 I need to divide it by one two five point four and that gives us um quite a long number it's like twenty point one eight oh and it just carries on and on and on but what we're gonna do is give that to three significant figures so we're gonna present the number I got to four significant figures was twenty let me write this in red just like the number I got in red was 20.180 and what I'm going to do is round this to three significant figures which rounded to three significant figures we can represent as being 20.2 and this the units for this as I said in the last video is going to be grams per mole so mol to the power of minus one and this is the relative atomic mass of this particular sample of neon and working it out is that simple and that's that's the end of this video